Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey, Bill again at Carolina Readiness Supply with my friend Chris from Smoky Mountain Off Grid. Hey. What's the question? You're going to interrogate me on <laughs> yeah. today? <laughs> yeah, we got we got a bunch of people asking about uh, uh, how to store uh, sugar uh, long-term, salt long-term, and possibly even like flour, yeah. already milled flour and stuff. I understand. I, that's, I get a lot of those questions here, too. Uh, <clears throat> Basically, if you look at the literature, sugar and salt are really an indefinite storage life food. The main thing is you want to keep it dry and, like everything else, uh, keep it out of the heat. So, generally here in the store, I package sugar and salt in Mylar bags, but I introduce a moisture desk in uh, into the container and seal it. Yep. It keeps the product granulated, so when you open it, uh, it's perfect. Uh, I have it sealed in Mylar here only because I sell it commercially. Uh, at the house, I've had a bucket of sugar uh, in a bucket for over five years with a moisture desking in it. It's kept it perfectly granulated, easy to use, no clumping at all. Flour, on the other hand, flour, cornmeal, and products like that, um, the literature I've read on that is generally you have a shelf life of about five years uh, because it's a milled product. Uh, it will have a tendency to get rancid yeah. after uh, five years or so. Uh, so... I do have some stored flour at my house, but I don't store a lot of flour. Uh, as far as if I'm baking, I store wheat berries, yep. uh, which has many, many decades of storage life. <clears throat> and, uh, so if you store wheat berries, there's multiple things you can do. You can uh, cook it into a cereal. You can uh, just mill it for flour. You can, uh, at least the wheat berries I carry, you can plant it. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, we we so, store a lot of wheat berries, too, in like yeah, five-gallon bags, yeah. mylar bags. So yeah, variety of, variety of things you can do. Um, that was something that, uh, you know, when we, <coughs> we had done the video on food storage, you know, I talked about uh, where do you get started? Rice, beans, cooking oil, multivitamin, and spices, which yeah. are the things that, I think you can do immediately, but I do need to say that when you store cooking oil in your storage, uh, that's not long term. Yeah. And I've, I've not seen a way of addressing <coughs> long term storage of oils, but generally 18 to 24 months, maybe up to 36 months, those things have to be rotated out of your storage. They do become rancid. And uh, I know that from experience. Would that include lard? You know, like I think lard has a longer shelf life, um, but like pork lard, um, yeah, you probably have a longer shelf life on yeah. that. Particularly if you put it in the freezer. Yeah. If you have a freezer, then um, it will last a long, long time. I know back in the old days, like say like a number ten can, you could buy yep. lard. Like a, you know, you remember you had to open it. Right. I'd say yep. that probably had a pretty good shelf life. Yeah. I don't think I do it like that anymore. Yeah. Not that much. So. I don't know. I save my. You talking about fats? I mean, we save our bacon drippings. Yep. All the time, put them in a mason jar, put it in the refrigerator. So yep. when we're cooking, just about anything, if you need some uh, oils in it. Uh, we like did fried potatoes the other night. Put a spoonful of yep. lard in there, bacon drippings. We, we can, uh, I think she can probably 20 or 30 uh, jars of bacon in the pressure counter. Yep. yep. And uh, we kept the grease off of that and put it in jars too. Yep. And we use it for that too. So. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you can't, you can't I don't know how many that. cases of bacon we can. Yeah, you can't beat that um, bacon grease, no. <clears throat> That'd be a good one on a video. I don't know if you've done that yet, but uh, yeah, because a lot of people haven't heard about canned yeah. bacon. Yeah, we've done we done a, a video probably a couple months ago on canned bacon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can put a link to it on here if anybody wants to see it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. 
Well, it, it's a good way of, you know, preserving that on the shelf. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's deals to be had out there. You go to go to grocery and stuff. I love going to a store like that because, yeah. <clears throat> particularly in their meat, if you go over to the meat section and go to grocery, they have, uh, number one, they do have very good meat. Yeah. Um, you just got to look for what, uh, go through and see what, you, what you're really looking for. But we found some fantastic deals and good quality. Yeah. We go in there to go grocery. Every chance we get and get the uh, uh, the the chicken wing, just pre cooked. Yeah. The oven roasted chicken. Yeah. Those things are very good. They're very good. Yeah. A lot of things to a lot of lot of ways to save money and start yeah. your preparedness. Um, you know, it's it is a process, and that's what people have to understand. Yeah. So don't get discouraged. If you do something every day, you'd be surprised where you'll be at yeah. the end of the month. Yeah, or um, in the year, how much you have for back. In the year, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, and uh, so it's a process, and we just keep on keeping up. Yeah, <laughs> keep <laughs> on keeping. <laughs> yeah. If you guys ain't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll be back. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. But you have to start now. Uh, starting when a crisis is uh, started, it's too late. A lot of these places that have products and supplies will not exist after the crisis starts. So it's time and money, and I understand everybody has a budget, but you can do something every day. It may not even be purchasing something. It could be learning something, uh, educating yourself, uh, how to prepare shelters, cooking, uh, things of that nature. So. We can't control what's going on, everything in the world around us, uh, but you can control uh, what's around you with your family and your neighbors. Good job. I'm watching Skype. I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.